Hello Terraria Enthusiasts, my name is James, and now there have been a ton of references cram-packed into Terraria, starting from the clothier who only quotes Tom Hanks movies, or the steampunker NPC who is named after Zelda. Now in today's list, I want to filter through the hundreds hidden away and showcase my personal top 10 favourite references to other games in Terraria. Now trust me, this won't be an easy list to make as there is just so many, so I've gone with references that are inventive, pay the most homage and are just fun to discover. If this is your first time you're hearing about references, however, I have a playlist in the description to a series I've been working on for years, going over a ton of references and easter eggs, so when you're done with today's list, why not check it out. So with that out of the way, it's time to count down my top 10 references to other games hidden away in Terraria. So let's begin. 10. Starting off our list is Diablo. This is one of the lowest on my list for two reasons. One, it's a game that I've never gotten around to playing, and two, this one is pretty niche. So one of the possible title messages for the PC version of Terraria is that there is no cow layer, which is in reference to the game Diablo, which in fact eventually did have a cow layer. Now, there isn't even cows in Terraria, let alone a whole layer of it, so get working on it, Sonex. Nine. Now the next three references on our list are actually part of cross-promotional work, but that doesn't make them any less awesome. Now Edge of Space is a 2D space adventure game much like Terraria and was actually created by a close friend of Relogic, and that is why you can find the Space Dolphin machine gun in the game as a reference to Edge of Space. Now on the flip side, Edge of Space got its own version of the Skeletron boss battle, but I'll leave finding that awesome vibe to you guys. Eight. In case you didn't know, the only other game to be published by Relogic is a game titled Pixel Piracy, which even now has a sequel. Well, there are actually quite a few pirate-themed references added to Terraria to celebrate this fact, including a pirate NPC, a pirate painting, and a pirate hat. All of these are pretty cool and are a really great addition to your world if you're a fan of the first two Pixel Piracy games, which is something I am. Seven. Now this one is exclusive to the mobile version of Terraria, but that doesn't make it any less awesome. So there are a few Worms references in the game, including two really awesome pets, mines and even a holy hand grenade. Now the really cool thing about the Worms pet is that if you actually die while having the pet equipped, you will get a Worms styled tombstone. They later took this concept and added it to the PC version of the game, which is why when you have a lot of money, you will actually die and leave behind a golden tombstone. Six. Now this one is very subtle and was actually added to Terraria before Splatoon launched on the Wii U, but when looking at the Moonlord painting, the description reads, Not a man, nor a squid, which is a phrase associated with Splatoon due to its commercial marketing. I sunk way too many hours into Splatoon, so it's cool to see a little reference tucked away. Five. Now this next reference is an homage to Cave Story, an absolutely amazing game that if you haven't played you really should. Like seriously, this game is amazing. Now the people behind Terraria must agree with me here because you can actually get the main protagonist hat for yourself in the game. And trust me, it's well worth getting, it just looks so cool. Four. I've always seen Terraria as one giant Mario reference, but here are a few that you can actually find pretty easily. The first one being the Fire Flower, which is a reference to Mario's fireball ability, and of course there is the Plumber costume, which will make you look like the man himself. Now before we move on, here is a quick history lesson. The creator of Terraria made a game called Super Mario X, which was pretty much like Mario Maker that we got last year. However, he was told by Nintendo to remove the game, and of course he complied. But he then went on to immediately make Terraria. This is why Terraria is very Mario-like. Three. Before we continue, please be aware that if you make it to the end of today's video, there will be cake. Now this reference was actually announced to be coming to the game almost two years before it was actually added, and that's the portal gun, which you can obtain at the very end of your adventure. However, in a recent Terraria patch, we actually got another reference to portal, the companion cube, which is one of the most expensive items in the game, and does some really cool things. For example, if it falls into lava, it will scream, um, it will also mutter things randomly at you, and if you're alone in the dark with it, it will stab you. Seriously, it will stab you. Two. Even if you don't play Minecraft anymore, it's hard to find a person who hasn't played the cult phenomenon it turned into. There are actually two references to Minecraft in Terraria, with the first one being a title message that reads, 
Try Minecraft in response to Minecraft splash text that reads, Also try Terraria. Now the second one was added as part of a goodie bag collection at the Halloween event and it's actually a creeper costume. This is a really cool reference and it's definitely one of the most obvious ones on this list. One. Now it's been said before that I'm a huge Zelda fan and Terraria is actually cram-packed with Zelda references. So my favourite that you can obtain in the game are the hero's clothes which were added to the game in homage of Link, the fairy bell which is meant to be a reference to Navi, and the beam sword which is strikingly similar to the master sword. There is also some minor ones such as the bunny hood and the ice rod. This makes the number one spot because there is so many references and I just really like Zelda. So that's about it for today's top 10 list. If you like this one and you want to see more, click here to see my top 10 magical weapons. Whether you're a magic enthusiast or you've yet to check out the mage class, this one should be perfect for you. But if you'd just like to see more Terraria references, well click here for a playlist which goes over all of my favourites. If you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button. By clicking that button, you'll be the first to see my latest videos as soon as they're released. Chippy Gaming is the one-stop place for all things Terraria, and by clicking that subscribe button, you can be part of it. So that's about it, guys. Have an awesome day, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.